Welcome everyone to another game of the Hogs of War League Season 3. Now we are approaching the latter half of uh, the tournament and uh, we are seeing Jax play against Axe by 94. This is gonna be a pretty interesting map, pretty useful um, game for the decision of the playoffs, as I will uh, tell more later. Uh, let's take a look at the lineups now. So uh, on Canyon, Jax is bringing a, a gunner, para, engineer, a sniper and another gunner. And Axpy is bringing an engineer, a grenadier, para, a gunner, and a sapper. Uh, sorry, a sniper. My bad. So in Canyon is uh, of course gonna be very useful to have um, long range if you play the traditional way. But we've seen some uh, really unorthodox ways to play this map anyway. So, and by the way, yeah, today I'm uh, gonna be alone in the commentating. Uh, we we're playing a little, bit, a little bit of a strange time. It's um, sort of earlier in the morning than usual so sorry for that uh, no, nobody was really you know available i suppose so now we see um Axby gonna have his first move with his sapper it's taking his time as usual he's very reason reasonable as a reasoning you know and um goes for the uh how do you call this <laughs> it's a little bit of a wall climb no not a wall climb but a wall walk which i also tried when I played my map of Canyon, it's gonna try and meet the enemy. Oh, okay, goes for a TNT. <laughs> kind of not used to seeing uh, engineers using TNT nowadays. Everyone seems to prefer that sniper. Uh, that, that's. Um, oh my god, sorry. <laughs> uh, the shrapnel play. This might be a lot of water damage potentially. If uh, Feng Shui takes the right slide. Okay, yeah. That was very well executed. Lots of damage there, for a total of something like 65, even 75 if I'm not mistaken. I can do quick maths, I'm sorry. Um, Jax is gonna use his gunner, his first pick. Seems like he's gonna attempt a long range shot here. Take on the Grenadier, yeah. Hmm. Kind of a hard shot. It's definitely not full power, but will that be enough as an angle? Uh, looks a bit short so far. Oh no, that was perfect. Wow. Very well played from... Uh, very well positioned shot from Jax. Just uh, too bad that... Uh, nothing more than 50, you know, it, you always gotta feel for that, but... I think that's um, be beyond uh, control sometimes. Usually, you know, you can aim for a 50. Anyway, we see Axpice Grenadier taking over in the, in the in Jack's field. Goes for a body block and then has a little bit of a... Uh, let's see how strong the shrapnel will be. Oh, uh, sorry, the, <laughs> the class will be. Uh, pretty decent, but with the slide, which is... Oh, another beautiful slide from Axpice. This pig must have taken at least 80 damage, if not, I mean, at least 90, I would say. But sadly, the body block wasn't the right one, because Jax has a really nice occasion to take care once and for all for this Grenadier, if he's nimble enough on his fingers. Just 49, this is pretty doable from Jax, we've seen that he has a pretty good um, ability with these uh, mortars. Let's see if it's the same with the bazooka, and uh, I suspect it is. Oh, he decides to go for someone else. Th that's actually pretty smart because, you know, he has another turn. I has a couple more turns to take care of that. Oh, a bit overshot. Uh, ambitious play, I like that. Um, yeah, technically he could take care of that with... Um, um, with his sniper even, maybe he can do a little bit of a poison trick. And Axbite keeps on with this invasion. Slowly but surely, every pig is uh, approaching this side of the map. And this might be a good moment to uh, talk a little bit about the standings for the tournament right now. So, I've been told by um, a secret... Uh, poison madness person, a person that is mad for poison, um, that if Axby wins this game, 
uh, this match, sorry. Uh, group B is basically all set. There is not gonna be any um, other game, any other match to decide who is gonna go in the playoffs. Uh, only the order will change, of course. Uh, and that's with two weeks of, um, you know, two weeks prior to the conclusion of the tournament, actually. So uh, this is a pretty important game uh, today, a pretty important match. And wow, beautiful shrapnel from uh, Jax with a little bit of water as well. So Axby will uh, now delight us with the gunner. Go doesn't go for the motors behind him. I mean, he has enough, I guess. And but if Jax wins, uh, he can still qualify. Actually, uh, you know, technically, if he basically, I think he needs to win all the games. And uh, the game might even be open for me and JJ, who, you know, we are still... Um, we are in the lower half of the points. I'm actually the last, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it, it is what it is. The, 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 this year's uh, competition has been stellar, and I wouldn't want it anyone any other way. So, we'll see. If, um, if Jax wins this, uh, there is a chance for me, him, and uh, JJ even. So as uh, as I said, seems like Jax will gonna try and do a little bit of poison trigger here, but the positioning sadly is not easy for a double. It goes for a simple. Uh... Oh no, the package will fail there, but can be important for a turn skip here. Uh, there is one more turn I think for Jax to just put the uh, Axe by Grand Year down to a silence. But Axby might actually decide to uh, end his own Grand Year's life before it's too late, which I think it would be a nice play. Just has to hope that the downhill grenade, the downhill gas, will not betray him. We'll see. Oh, okay, this is actually a bit risky, I'm gonna say. Oh, perfect! Almost a triple! Almost a triple! I, I thought it would not be possible, but honestly, could have been. So... That was a 9 out of 10 play, 9.5 out of 10 play from Axe Pie. Uh, honestly, I couldn't have done it better any time of the day, I think. And uh, for it to be this early for my Italian buddies here, uh, they're really upping the ante and uh, making it for an exciting game, I would say. Jax goes for a, a fire and water technique here. Might be huge, and it does seem like there's no other outcome possible. It's, uh, it's a basically uh, uh, 50 something damage, 53 I think. I, I really gotta work on those uh, fast arithmetics, I'm sorry. I forgot how much HP he had, you know, and that's why I usually <laughs> work better with a, with a second commentator who can do that better while I just spew my, my usual crap. <laughs> But, um, let's see, this TNT might actually yield a little bit of water. I don't expect much, though. Um, so it's gonna be like a solid 50 plus maybe, I don't know, 5 or 6 HP of water damage. Let's see, maybe I'm wrong. Ah, it's zero. So, but that pig is at 60. So, not much left. And, oh, that poison pig uh, is now at 20 HP. So, it's gonna have to go. In the next turn, unless uh, Axby can uh, do something about it, like poison him again, I don't know, we'll see. But Jax brings out his motor, which has proven to be lethal, maybe more than his bazooka, actually. Seems to target the para. Thankfully, no, uh, no blimps have been harmed today yet. Oh, okay. I was expecting the one of the... Um, uh, shrapnels, so to speak, to hit the uh, para again, but no, he hits the other pig. So Axby brings this sapper down on the shore with these jet tags. Not sure if there's gonna be enough time for another one. Yeah, the, the, he doesn't even have one, so yeah, of course, because he used one to get here. Goes for a for a gunner. Oh no, uh, body block and then shooting. Goes for a angle shot like a like a mortar. 
A typical last minute maneuver. Ah, sadly, not enough. So, he still positioned himself uh, pretty well with his body block there. Bo, uh, um, I'm going to teach me that probably the most important thing in the, in the game is doing some damage, but still have to figure if a good body block can be better than that. I guess it depends. So now Jax is dishing out that damage, so I would say he's uh, catching up with um, damage dealing here. Oh no, that guy's now down to nine now. It's a uh, potential blunder and a threat for Jax now. You know, sometimes that little tiny damage can change the whole course of the game. So what will last by do? I mean, there's a bunch of pigs on the shore there. Could be taking could take care of those i wouldn't touch the okay yeah i i think the risk of hitting the 9 hp pig is very low if he can get rid of the 44 hp uh i think paratrooper yeah could be huge oh look at that beautiful oh <laughs> i uh, i think actually i didn't expect that to happen he never considered the, the like extra bullets from the from the mortar they ne i never seem to hit anything almost now Jax has to do something with his uh, uh, sniper. Maybe a couple of head jumps. Oh, he has a jetpack! Oh, this was so resourceful. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, that jetpack basically saves uh, Jax one full turn. And I think he couldn't have used it any any better. I was, was very important, very, very lucky, I would say honestly. Uh, for the pig with the jetpack to happen just now. And let's see if this travel is lucky as well. Oh! Nice 50 with... Uh, still no water damage. The, the the shores of this map are kind of magnetized. But yeah. So, Axe by now can uh, probably just dish more... Oh, okay, yeah. Goes down to below 15. Very smart play considering that Jax does have a sniper yet. Uh, still has a sniper in his lineup and uh, basically now he's poison proof but I have to choose a target who to go to ah okay a little package move here okay. thankfully no self damage there hmm. so Axby has two low HP picks and the uh, Jax goes for the mortars, as you should. Although, you know, you always have to consider that that's extra time that you're using, but... This guy, I think he was out of mortars, so... Could be useful. And uh, that's it for the sapper, for Axe by Sapper. Don't wanna have more shrapnels uh, unleashed onto you. I'm not sure if he still had them. I, don't, I, I think he at least has to have one. And now Axe by he will... Probably hit one of the gunners. I, mean, I would I would focus on the low HP one and stay on this one as a body block mechanism. But I think it might be the his turn next. We'll see. Hmm, interesting choice. Ooh, looks hard. <laughs> Straight to get a good shot here. Oh, ah, a little bit overshot. Again, very hard to be precise when you change the angle. But he did see that it would have been his guy, this guy's turn anyway, so... Made sense to hit him. Ah, but... Jax goes for the... Uh, I, I think for the very good technique of getting, getting rid of the low HP picks, because, you know, you, you're basically getting their kits out of the way. So, but that's gonna hurt his own pick again. Hmm... Now that pig is still a pretty high HP, yeah, it's 103. So we have a Bobby Jim the Gunner here. Very low distance, trying to hit those Kobe Bryant style mortars from here. It's just trying to find a good spot, I guess, for the, for the next mortar. He's been pretty consistent, I mean, pretty good with the, with the shots. I'm not sure if he was consistent, but... He was dealing those 50s at least once. <laughs> So, 
This has potential to be even a double, sort of. Never mind. It's a solid 21. Not bad. Uh, very slow descent. Okay. The supper starts to look like he's on a countdown. Lee delight us with a, another shrapnel. Oh. Seems like... Yeah. This has potential to be devastating if he aims uh, correctly. Seems to... Hmm. <laughs> you can see his thought process. Uh, he uh, looked at the legend and thought, probably thought, hmm, maybe I can send him out of the map. And uh, I, I think so, Jax. I think you can. Oh, no! That slippery slide. Okay, didn't take any damage. Ah, let's see. This guy might explode. That's not. I would say thankfully. <laughs> but, uh, okay, this guy is down to 33. 33. So, there is still a lot that can be done. Okay, this is a nice body block from Axpy. He always looks for them, and uh, I think it's a very, very nice strategy. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. Forty on the shin. Now Jax is down to two gunners and uh, a sapper. I think there's gonna be a lot of. Uh, there is a lot of potential for high damage, and uh, Axpy is down to one gunner and uh, all the para that just moved. I don't think he has the scout. Yeah, no, the scout is dead. So, 3v2, but can you really tell who's uh, who's on top? I'm not sure. I mean, Axby does have no poison pigs, so... Oh, look at this beautiful shot! Right into the bejesus! 47 from a mortar, and a long, long slippery slide for Axby's pig. Okay, so yeah, now, now you know after this shot, I would say, I mean, if this gunner gets to get rid of uh, Jack's, uh, get, yeah, of Jack's gunner, although it's gonna be hard. Even if it's a uh, forty plus, uh, the the game is still quite open. But ah, that's a bit too short. Mm, might be a twenty though. Let's see, the little bullet. Ah, no damage. Okay, so now uh, I would say uh, Jax has a um, potential lead here. Starting to look like uh, there ain't much to be done in the matters of the numbers for, for Axby. Uh, but Jax goes for a mortar, so... This can be huge and can be a hole in the water, as we say in Italy. <laughs> I don't know if it's a worldwide saying. I guess that's the second one then, but can't blame anyone. Uh, that was also a very smartly positioned pick from Axpy because when you're in, um, you know, in the downward slope behind, really makes uh, the mortar shots uh, so much uh, more sensible to error. You know, because you have a very short narrow margin for the bullet to hit you. So we see Axpy here just doing a little bit of edge jumps because why not? And then uh, trying another bazooka. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Actually, if this is a 40, this might be a game changer, but hmm, still gonna have to take... Okay, actually, you know what? Uh, okay, no, that, now it's 23. There is no way to hit him with a scoop, but uh, now, now it's actually, you know, he can use a... He does have a 20 HP dealing uh, machine gun. That might be the next move from this part if he still lives, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Okay, he might leave. He might actually survive another turn because... Um, it might be, you know, gun the, this gunner's turn is going to be not the next. It's going to be Feng Shui first. So Axby will... Will he... Uh, I would go for a, for a flamethrower here, but... I mean, he doesn't want to lose his... Uh, Upper ground, which makes a lot of sense, but especially because that guy actually never mind because it's not on the coast, like probably not near enough the water to actually uh, execute the fire on water move. This is gonna be a little bit of um, again a basketball shot. Oh, kinda hard though, very hard. And 
Jack still has his gunner, uh, over 50, so very, very dangerous boy. It's gonna give a hard time to our Samarinese friend here. Oh, and it might be onto something here. I think he might have found the right angle. Look at that. Looks perfect to me. And he goes down. So it's 50 damage and loses his uh, height and some water damage. Total of 11, 12 actually. Water damage. Wow, that was huge. So Abraham uh, basically has one more chance to gain one turn, you know. And he has to now because he's going to be gone in the next turn. But does he remember about the... The, the, the machine gun oh, it, it goes below here <laughs> interesting position you can actually go on top of that thank you Axby for making for letting me know that I didn't know oh, okay goes for a bazooka again with a low angle I don't know I guess he practiced with that <laughs> oh, okay uh, just 11 though that's not enough for the turn skip sadly and uh, there is no way you can head jump on on that guy again so now yeah, Jax has to simply take care of him. There is no other pig that has high, highest priority, I think. Well, maybe in the next turn, but... Okay, so... Uh, Jax is being... Uh, he's doing the right decisions, I think. He's taking the right pigs out. Now, Axby is alone. There is not much he can do other than... I don't know. If he nails every single mortar from now on, there might be a chance, but... Honestly, that's uh, that, that's quite an effort, and uh, I think not even Anguri would be able to do such a feat, just because the sheer distance of the pigs, the, the inequality of the ground, and yeah. Let's see, maybe maybe he gets a little lucky with the fast uh, aiming. No dice, sadly. Now, basically, uh, Jax, I think in two turns. Can just take the win although this guy now is gonna be just down to two so actually you know might be might be hard to f to finish okay he's only down to 28 so Jax can actually finish this in this one turn let's see almost wait is it 23 no 28 yeah exactly almost done um <laughs> okay yeah and this is a little painful to watch because with 3 HP and that almost perfect um, um, green launcher shot really isn't much you can do but I mean it's worth a shot and uh, tries to get that pig on the shore I guess that's kind of like Axe Vice blind spot and I, I, I don't mean it as in as if to say that it's an easy shot but he's, he's been feeling that but it's just as I say that finally gets it so uh, Jax still might take this uh, kind of swiftly because a pig is not that far oh pulls out the mortar no okay now I was gonna say what would you risk now okay still with the bazooka so no pistol which makes sense because still the pig is quite distant see what happens now well, probably know what's gonna happen and oh that's it but uh, Jax takes away one of his pigs as well with that but that brings him on 1-0 uh, on this game so victory to Jax uh, I, I think he he, he was uh, the, the second player like he didn't start first but I, I'll check in with the guys for that and uh, that means that uh, the second game of Upstream will be uh, still open, of course. Uh, we still don't know what's going to happen. So we'll see you guys in Upstream in a little bit. And we are back for round two. Uh, this time we'll be in Upstream and uh, Jax uh, will bring Medic, Grenadier, Engineer, Para and a Scout. And Axby is bringing Medic, Para, Engineer and two Snipers. And uh, uh, we also checked uh, the replays because we couldn't remember. Uh, um, Axby started, so uh, it will it will be Jack's turn to start. So we'll probably have to restart a couple times. We'll see. 
and uh, never mind. We got it on the first try, thankfully. So, uh, of course, on upstream, uh, the first turn is quite important because it's quite reversible, but uh, we'll see if Jax can get the um, first big uh, tranquilize. I think the medic is on the other side, though. Moves very fast. I didn't get the, the time to check the... Uh, and Oh, a little bit of water there. It seems to that only three picks uh, of uh, Axby are on the map uh, because of the two scouts, which sadly kind of uh, makes it easier for Jax to find the medic. Uh, that, that's a sad effect of bringing the, the camouflage picks. They're immediately out of the map. If you're not looking for them, it makes it easier to look for the other picks. So Axby misses the turn straight out and the Jax gets a uh, full turn of the Grenadier at the very least, and he, who will he, who will he target? At this point, I would say go for the engineer because they used to not be a threat, but they seem to be. Oh, but he uses it as a um, as a body block target, uh, which uh, let's see. It's probably not the best because he, he will move uh, not the next turn, but the other one. So I would rather have gone with the body block on the sniper, but. So now Axby has a time as a turn with the para. He might potentially decide to break the MoMA, although I don't think that's gonna happen because it's way too far. Decides to bring the engineer of Jax down to sea level. Maybe do some uh, trickery, yeah, with the bazooka. I would say, yeah. So now already um, Axby has a little bit of a steep hill to climb. Ah, there was some damage at least on the enemy, but sadly he, he has my same problem with, uh, you know, uh, releasing the bazooka a bit too early, maybe to compensate the latency. Um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, Axby has a little bit of an uphill battle to fight here because not only he starts second, but um, Jax actually used the MoMA uh, strategy basically. So really, ex really caching that, wow, <laughs> caching that first player turn I was saying, but just as I say that, that was a pretty beefy shrapnel. Uh, I think it was just a 50 though, uh, but it's always like distracting when the pig just gets flung away. Now uh, Axby has a time to just give back to Jax what he gave with a beefy shrapnel hopefully for him. Oh! Oh God! That was a nine. That was a hundred and ten. What? Oh my God! Oh, I, I'm not ready for this. It, it's like 11, 11.30. No, it's almost twelve a.m. Twelve p.m. Actually. Oof. You're gonna make me caffeinated without need for a coffee axe by there. Holy crap! A hundred and ten with such low appearing effort. <laughs> And, and this brings uh, basically the Grenadier down to a very easy to deal with number. Uh, maybe you can take uh, care of him with um, a nice poison afterwards. And uh, But Jack takes a oh, nice bazooka on the on, on this uh, sniper for Axby. But now he's down to 13, which is still down to... Well, he doesn't have to worry about poisoning because... Um, oh, a little bit of lag there. Huh. Strange because I don't see any lag spike from Axby. Maybe it was just a random fluke. Okay, decides to take on uh, the medic, which is. I, I think it's a good turn. Uh, although that medic is gonna be. You know, uh, close to useless once he's, once he's done with the MoMA. Uh, we see Jax taking a little bit of time to decide here what to do. And he also decides to poison. Oh no, okay. I thought he was gonna be. I mean, and that's actually, yeah, the target that makes the most sense to me. So, both medics are poisoned. Oh, brilliant, brilliant uh, gas grenade there. So, will Axby now take care of Kendo, the grenadier of Jax? Probably do something else, let's say. So, yeah, I, I was gonna say um, Jax doesn't have any sniper, but he does have one, of course. Uh, and with this, you know, pig pool setup, it's kind of hard uh, to not bring any sniper at all 
uh, unless you decide to just rely on uh, gunners. Hmm. Decides to go with a point blank knife. Okay, yeah, that's decent enough. Okay, thankfully. Won't have any backblast there. So, six minutes in of this game, and uh, we, we see um, Axby actually really forcing his hand back into the game uh, after not so um, happy beginnings. Uh, but the MoMA continues, and uh, now Axby misses a turn while being poisoned, so more damage goes down, while more HP gets lost and uh, let's see maybe this is the time for another luscious shrapnel from Jax now that he's seen what Axe is capable of maybe he can uh, steal the trick steal the the intel there hmm I goes for his own that was brilliant again. Another useful, fra fruitful shrapnel from Jax. He, this this weapon has shown to be just so effective and, and unpredictable, but still very useful and very powerful. So now it's down to uh, actually uh, just four before, but Axma has <laughs> has the talent here probably to. Do some more. Okay, that was a, a 70, I think. And a nice moving movement for Kempo. So, this is already. Um, this part has already taken quite some damage. He decides to go on the other side, probably to do some more damage to the sniper here. Uh, it, it's, a, it's an interesting choice. I'm not sure uh, what was the plan. Maybe it was just to deal more jetpack damage, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, he wanted to get rid of that low HP uh, scout and do some more damage, but there wasn't enough time there, and he actually risked to even skip the turn, but... Thankfully, he did not. But no bazooka damage. So now, uh, Axby has a, basically a full HP scout, I think. I, I wasn't... I'm sorry, I, I didn't check the HP, I was too busy thinking. Uh, okay, yeah, this is a full health scout, and Axpec goes for a poison slash body block combo. Oh, okay, and, and Jax also has a full HP scout, so it is quite even on this side, but the medic uh, basically is... Uh, very much in Jack's favor. Uh, things might change though. Um, this is not as mirrored as a game as you, as you would imagine. Although, you know, that Grenadier was very fast to go, which was the main attraction for Jack's lineup. And uh, Axby is. Um, um, oh, but Axby gets to invert the, the MoMA now. Potentially. The usual, you know. Uh, strange uh, happening. Ah, uh, but. It's a lot of uh, of work for for the healing and uh, potentially reverting the MoMA, but oh. Axby very bravely goes for that. Now he has to absolutely go back to where he started and uh, unsheet that. Wow, that was very fast. Yeah, okay, there's potential. Maybe no body block, but he has to aim for that. Oh, brilliant. Wow, that was very tense to see, but executes the MoMA revert perfectly. So now Axpa is really showing his steel arm here. And uh, if things stay this way, this might actually be a change. I've actually played against Axpa in a friendly um, training game and this happened as well, like uh, the MoMA revert happened. It's quite hard to uh, understand the underlying uh, conditions for it to happen, but uh, to, to put it simply, when uh, when some pigs die in one team, you know, they basically... It's like you're skipping... How can I say? You're making the enemy skip a turn in his lineup. So that skip turn might happen twice before it's the turn of the medic again. 
And that was a bit of self damage, I think, from the exploding barrel, but. Oh, Jax has the chance to heal as well, to, to lose his poison. But that will force this engineer way far away from. to, to be far away from uh, his um, enemies. So, probably. probably gonna be. breeding ground for. Mm, not so good shrapnel. Oh my god, that's a lot of water damage. Ah, oh, damn it. That's a huge damage of water. I guess the nerves are starting to play. To, to show. Okay. Ah, a bit short. What happened? Oh, no. Alright, we are back after a little uh, technical interruption and issue from uh, Jack's side. Uh, we should be all good to go now. And uh, Jax will be able to start again. We basically decided to just have again uh, the shrapnel shot, but with uh, little damage. Uh, because uh, Jax basically disconnected. So now it's Axe by turn. And, uh, well... I, I'm gonna say not much uh, ha had changed with that because it's just uh, it was actually just 27 not even 30 full damage but uh, Jack said he disconnected before he could detonate the shrapnel so so now Axe by his pick uh, Axe by scout might do a might try a double but decides to what is he deciding actually I'm not sure okay could have kept going, maybe he would have hit Medic, but in any case, Jax uh, still gets a turn with the Power Trooper, which makes it really strange for, uh, you know, m m makes it look like a strange decision from Axe but anyway. Uh, Jax has a lot of jetpacks yet. And, uh, aha. Uh -huh. Jax doesn't see the invisible wall, that's usually a problem. Uh, oh, this might be a turn skip from... Ah! So unlucky, so unlucky. That's a very uh, bad place to do a, a jetpack. I, I guess uh, Jax learned uh, the, the bad way, the hard way. And there is no way for this medic to reach that HP crate and use his uh, uh, last two tranks or last rank. So instead, he decides to position himself close to a pig of Jax, I guess. Maybe he can dish out some healing, but now there isn't much time to work. Decisions, decisions. It's always hard. Okay, now never mind. He goes alone, uh, but now he basically is a very juicy victim for Jax or something. Let's we'll see what happens. And Jax immediately misses a turn, of course. So that was a nice strength from uh, Axe Bites. Just a little bit of a strange positioning, I guess. But he has to leave these picks alone. Oh, there's a huge potential here. Does he go for a triple? No, that is not way. Yeah, if, uh, if he can manage to do a 38 max... Thir no, uh, let's say 47 max uh, pick damage. Uh, orderly damage. Although, uh, ideally, you don't want to leave him that low. I want to leave at least 5 HP so that, you know, it can be just head jumped. Let's see how much is this. 29 on uh, the engineer and uh, uh, Axe doesn't check with the camera, but we'll see very soon. Oh! Amazing, amazing uh, shot. Well, that's gonna... Oh! And he also took the para. What a shot. What a, uh, what a TNT. I did not expect that range to be so high. Perfect. So, <laughs> double kill basically, plus a skip turn, and a lot of damage on uh, this guy. So, Axe Pie might very, very easily take this round back. Even with the dying medic, I think it's still not enough. That might be enough to turn skip immediately. Yeah, holy crap. Huge. From the first shrapnel onwards, Axe Pie really turned the game uh, on, on, its, uh, on its head. And now this medic actually has a chance to survive, but doesn't take it. Okay, uh, that's fair because might even actually die while swimming for to get that uh, HP crate. And 
sniper. It's not gonna survive for long anyway. So it's just gonna take this sniper with him, which is the last pick of Jax. Well, there's not much uh, that can happen. It's the third turn that uh, Jax skip in a row. Holy crap. I swear, really, on a, on a roll here, and uh, I mean, to add insult to the injury, you could have even taken that uh, HP crate and bring it with you, but this is gonna be a 50, potentially even more, if he decides to, okay, no, th this is not gonna work, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe he can get more of that um, uh, self-explosion damage, but still, oh, okay, that's huge water damage. Oh my god. Brutal, brutal. This might be the last turn for... Uh, oh, just 14 from 100. That's like 82 damage. Okay. Ah, uh, that... He tried to kill himself with the poison, but this time, for some reason, the poison doesn't poison himself. I, I feel really bad for him, because I know, like... When you even, like try to hit your own pig and then it doesn't work it's like god damn it nothing goes my way but <laughs> axby decides to finish it with some fireworks there and that is one to one so now axby got the second game of course and that means this is one of the few games that i've personally seen in this uh hogs of war league to go to round three so yeah i just want to say that this was a uh, very well played from both but axby really took it and Turn the game upside down, as I said. So, very exciting game to watch, uh, despite the technical difficulty, which definitely influenced the, the, the game and the mind of Jax. So, hopefully, we'll see a great game on New Hillock. I'm going to expect high level from both of the players. And we'll see you guys very soon for round three. And welcome back everyone to round three and this time very exclusively will, uh, will join us Angurio. Hello. hello hello so uh you came just in time because you hillock is gonna look like uh it's gonna be very full of bacon and uh, wow. uh jax is bringing medic para engineer another para and a gunner for the delight of Angurio and me <laughs> uh, well i mean it, it, it's obligatory to have at least one pyro but uh anyway Axby instead uh, will also bring medic, uh, para, engineer, a sniper, and another para. So, by the way, for Axby, it's basically the same lineup as before. It's just the sniper takes place to the para, like leaves the place to a para. Uh, but yeah, so uh, UV lock is gonna, like, it's one of those maps with a lot of space. So, we'll probably see paras being very, very useful here. And uh, Axby starts with this medic which by the way Angu, this uh you know uh is basically the opposite of how the previous game uh, started because jacks had the first turn and he started with a medic so now you know oh, okay so uh, now jacks doesn't have a medic no no um, he actually does so there can be a reversal of the moma uh ah. compared to the first game like to the previous game interesting yeah we'll see if um, if axba is able to find the uh, Jack's medic, of course, and there he is. Easy moment there. Oh, yeah. He even aims on the ground to not make him slip. So, yeah, pretty pretty standard uh, doing here, but this can be very useful for later. And I highly recommend watching the previous games, especially the like the, the game on upstream, the, the game 2, was really exciting and really... Took a lot of strange uh, happenings, but uh, actually, now that I think of, even in Canyon, there was something special. I, I, I'll let you, I'll let you guess what what it is. Uh, okay. How many gunners you... there were on Canyon? Uh, How many of them? On Canyon, uh, uh, Jet had two, and uh, Axby had one. So nice, mm, pretty good. It's gonna but, be an interesting match for uh, sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna say there was one jetpack that was very fundamental. Like it was very useful. And uh, yeah, you'll uh, hopefully you will know, and, and the guys in the audience always probably know what which jetpack I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Uh, I will see. Back to you, Hilok. Now, um, Jax does this uh, quick migration here with his jetpack, but ah. he wants to b uh, break the the mom, I guess, uh, here. Yeah. Oh but, no! Oh. Oh. Ah. 
He does have a tendency to play very risky with his jetpacks, but... And this is not a hint for me for. I see, I see. <laughs> ah, and now we're gonna... Yeah, oh, maybe, and maybe. And his medic is close to the water, which is really bad. Yeah. I think that's gonna be the first kill of the game right now. Hmm. Yeah. It would be... It's just too juicy to pass. Yeah. So much for... Yeah. Axe doesn't even let the thought form in his mind before doing that. He doesn't but... even consider a shrapnel, wow. <laughs> yeah. That says a lot from Axe Bay. God, yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> oh man, I just remembered something else. Uh, I, I wish, like, I, I, I want to spoil you stuff, but I, I must Ooh. not. Yeah. Nah, nah, don't spoil, don't spoil anything. <laughs> oh, but that's not a kill, wow. Not a kill, but it's 20 something of water damage, so still pretty busy. Yeah. Definitely. Jax does not go for the crate, which mm. is interesting, although, you know, makes sense with 30 seconds. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a bit quiet because it's a bit early for <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, don't worry. Uh, it's, a, it, it, it's quite early for the norm of uh, Hogs games, uh, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm you didn't even have a breakfast. Oh, did wow. You? I, I did, I did. Oh, right. <laughs> you probably, yeah. I know you just tested me as soon as you saw the game uh, with yeah, yeah, yeah. the difficulties before. And uh, by the way, Jax misses a um, trapnel mm -hmm. and holds it himself with a 20 damage. Yeah, dang it. Not fun. Not fun for him. And he has shown, uh, he told us in the, um, how do you say, in, in the break that he's quite anxious, like, quite stressed, I would say, um, for this game. Like, he, yeah, he's. Understandable. Yeah. Of course. It is, uh, you know, it's always like that. You know, you start. Oh, okay, this is already a uh, interesting. It yeah. is v very good but play from right next to him. Uh, Jax can just prevent it by shooting a bazooka to a scout. And that is true. Or medic. That is very true. You're right. So, oh, and he's probably even just gonna use a jetpack here, which maybe. Yeah. Don't risk this time. Oh, look at this. But I hope he doesn't... Uh, he has to remember that... Yeah, exactly. That's the right yeah. direction to go. Because otherwise the, 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 the boundary of the, of the map will prevent him. Yeah, and it happens to me against Tax by this year. <laughs> I <laughs> lost the turn because of that. He just pushed me and I got one damage and I skipped the turn. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> that actually... Oh god! He oh. hit himself as well, damn it. This could be huge. What? What the hell? <laughs> He took no damage? Wait, what? Yeah, the usual, yeah, this explosion wow. underwater over here. <laughs> but yeah. Weird stuff. Uh, how much HP does this guy have? Oh, 75. I think he took quite some uh, damage from before. Mm. Yeah. Nice jetpack. Oh, oh, it does the water skip. Wow. To avoid the animation waiting. Exactly. Nice. The mines haven't been touched yet. Yeah, but... I was thinking about it right now. Nobody's collecting them. So uh, a bit short. Uh, 25. Okay. Some damage. Wood scoop. <laughs> a far, uh, a long distance scoop. I think, <laughs> I think Jax is going for them now. Yeah, you have to. I would say it's more about, you know, taking them and not making the enemy use them than using it yourself, but still. Yeah, that's true. Strange that not, he doesn't use it on the other pig. Okay, he uses it on this one, makes sense. But now he has only five seconds for the shot. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. Ah, and the boundary, see, the, the boundary on this map is weird. Okay. Yeah. It's a shot, but probably some self damage there. Yeah, you can see the pig moving. Look, self damage. Oh yeah, I hear that he is swimming, yeah. He swam so much. Probably 30 HP or... Uh, <sighs> something like that. Yeah, thank it. Like, Jax has done a lot of... Uh, I would say big brain plays, but also sadly some... Let's call them blunders. Not to say yeah. that he played well, bad, but it just like oversights, you know. Yeah, didn't, yeah. Didn't see the, the issues. Oh, and that's a long slide. Taking quite some time away. Medic with a jetpack, always scary. Can do so much in his turn. Mm. This part is down to 29. Might be enough for a turn skip? I don't know. 
Well, I mean with the with the poison gas, but nah, the medic has got a color. Yeah, body blocking that para. Wait, that para just keep this turn with a trunk. Yes. Uh, ah, okay. So no, no, mind. wait. The the you mean Jack's para? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I'm not sure. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Well, again the. Oh, brilliant. Oh, on the gunner. What well, that seem good, right? Yeah. Uh, ho ho. Twenty five again. Wow. <laughs> Axe baby, with this ranged scoop. <laughs> yeah. Other hand. Amazing. Is it a new, new, the the new move from Max by <laughs> New meta. Oh, uh, this has the potential to be huge as well. I think so. There is a potential to be a um, a one shot. What do you think? Not sure. Oh uh, no, I, I don't. Oh, oh no. The, oh. Uh, look at him back in the it's frame. Right in front of it. No way. Uh, <laughs> so unlucky. So unlucky. Yeah, it's uh, huge damage. But it's like a hundred and something. But... 90, 99. No, 89. Oh, you think so? Wasn't he over a hundred? He was full health, right? So Maybe he... not. Maybe not. Full, full no, no, no. Yeah, it was over a hundred, though. Okay. Hmm. I like ATNT, by the way. Yeah, we, we can see. I, I think the anxiety is working on both players right now, which. I mean, it makes sense. As I said before, this is a very important game. Uh, I don't know if you know, but uh, ADB actually told me that if Axpy wins this match, uh, Group B is completely set. Like, we will know for sure who will be on the playoffs. But yeah, if, I know, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, if, right. if Jax wins, there is a chance for him, for me, and for uh, JJ still to, to be in ah. the game. So. I'm not rooting well, for anyone, rooting but... You're kind of rooting for uh, Jax, um, right now. Sorry? You're kind of rooting for Jax. Well, I should, uh, but I'm staying impartial. <laughs> Great job, professional fab. Good yeah, job. I, I know, right? <laughs> no, I mean, to be honest, I, I think my performance in this tournament hasn't been uh, the one I wanted to be, like, no. as high as I wanted um. to be. So, I, I'll gladly leave my playoff spot to someone who deserves it better, so... Don't you dare, Fab. <laughs> no. You, you beat the uh, two times champions, uh, champion uh, Oxford for League, so... <laughs> right, well... Uh... Don't you dare. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. Nice, nah, great. And Warren. Was... And not much. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, the mine. Sorry, I forgot. Ah, uh, yeah, we <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, we, the, the, the mortar uh, stole the scene, but... Okay. <laughs> uh, that was, that was very comic. Yeah. Big plan. Okay. Well, who do you think is on top right now? I mean, it looks like Axe is a little bit of an edge here, especially for the moment and stuff. But... Uh, I don't know. After, yeah, definitely Axe because Jax hit himself with that TNT and uh, sure. yeah. But now Axe by there is like there is no way for him to do more than that. Oh it's was it is good. fine. <laughs> yeah. Although that sapper was on seventeen, I would have just poisoned him maybe instead of killing him, but yeah. that is that is true though. Good decision. I, I don't know if he had the the Scout Yeah, maybe. exactly. No, he doesn't have a scout in his lineup right now. Yeah, I just checked. Ah. No, sorry, he has my bad. I was looking at Jax. Jax yeah, doesn't he have has, him. He, he poisoned the, the medic before. Exactly. Oh, the look scoop. at this. Uh, I wanted an arranged scoop there, but still. <laughs> yeah. I just want to take any risk. Makes sense. Yeah, this is a kill. But now he's in a bad, bad, bad position. Mm -mm. I mean, it's at 9, 29 HP, so it doesn't matter where you're standing. You're gonna be killed uh, with one weapon anyway. Very true, very true. Ah. Some little bit of... Uh... Missed jump there. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like Axpa is closing up his iron claw right now. Mm -hmm. On uh, Jax. Slowly but surely. Is it a 3 versus 2, right? Right. Um, Jax doesn't have a scout. Yeah, exactly. And it's soon to be 3 versus 1. Yep. Oh Ooh. no, that, that was over for 25. Ah, no more scoop. <laughs> well, now Jax has 2. Do a lot of work with the yeah. his Feng Shui. I think he can body block the paratrooper, then try some hmm. some stuff. Yeah, the pigs are, are not that 
they haven't that much HP, so... That, that is true. Something is doable there. He has to remember, I hope he remembers which para to body block. Oh, and there's a... actually, yeah. Well, th this is gonna kind of blow the idea, yeah. Maybe he it's can see... His turn because... Ah. Ah, you can see the tension there. Ah, still more... Level. How was that some damage? Yeah, that's over because now Axe oh. has his scout, he can just snipe him. No. Yeah, that self damage was. So quite but it bad. was so strange, like before he. Uh, he, he yeah, it was strange. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I think uh, Jax has been quite unlucky in this game. Mm -mm. Ah, but this guy was a sapper, not a scout, so okay, it doesn't matter at all. Oh, true. Yeah, he could okay, have it was ended over, the game anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Too bad, but I mean he's going with honor because <laughs> look at the <laughs> everyone just looking at the guy. Ah, uh, yeah. As I was saying, Jax has lost with honor because he played well, but Axby takes it. It's two v one, two yeah, versus with, one. With honor, he also does um, fifty damage mortar, so you should be happy about it, Jax. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's more than enough. The, the, this is it because. Axby has basically locked the wow the playoffs on on the group B side. GG. Wow. GG. And this means that my game against Jax will be for nothing. That's nice. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fab, go five gardeners uh, every match. Five gardeners. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, I still want to take it seriously. Uh, hopefully, it will be my f only and first win. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, my parents is more than seriously. Don't. Don't, don't I'm sorry. That gunners are uh, weak. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I would never insult your precious gunners. I, Thank, I you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, uh, that's it for this game. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye bye.